So let me tell you about my experience so far. <clears throat> I'm definitely feeling the cravings from being low carb since I started restricting myself on December 30th. And I'm trying to satisfy myself without consuming carbs. And I believe this low blood sugar state is firing off a ton of ghrelin as a hunger hormone as my body is basically begging me to eat some carbs. So I ate some more calories in the last two days of December than I normally do, though I kept myself to a low carb diet in that time. But I can't wait for this overarching feeling of um, <clears throat> hunger to subside. So, but as far as yesterday, day one of the challenge, I managed to get in just around 1900 calories, which is roughly my daily maintenance amount from a high weight, age, and activity level. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> the, the bottom line is when I went to bed, I wasn't 100% satisfied. I wasn't like hungry or starving or craving per se, but I didn't feel 100% feel 100% satisfied, satisfied. So I think I'm sort of gradually adjusting to this uh, carnivorous state. <clears throat> but I do believe I'm experiencing some carb withdrawal. So uh, I'm not really sure uh, that any number of calories or any number of food in and of itself will satisfy me unless some carbs are involved. And I can already tell that I have to work on adding more fat to my diet. Just looking at the foods I've been eating each and every meal so far so it, just there's no way that I'm equaling my protein intake gram for gram with the amount of fats that I that I need and I'm not sure how concerned this should be I've been reading through the uh, various subreddits um, and it seems to be a very common uh, recommendation to try to go like 50 50 or 60 40 as far as grams of fat versus protein but a lot of people are like hey I haven't been paying attention to that whatsoever I don't really care I don't uh, make a concerted effort and it's not been a problem for me. So I'm trying not to be ruled by trying to get a certain macro ratio or whatever like that, but I can kind of understand why people would want to add more fat to make things more satiating and maybe make things go through the digestive system a little bit easier. What I need to do is get up to about 40% of my daily calorie limit with protein which is roughly about 190 grams and 60% of my calories in fat or 126 grams of uh, fat with zero carbs. At least that would be the ideal in order to meet my protein requirements. But I think the way things are going, I'm getting well above that with protein and well below that in fat. And so, yeah, that's just something I have to sort of try to keep in mind. This morning I woke up a couple hours earlier than I planned due to calf cramps in my left leg. And this is really painful, about as painful as I've had them in, in months. Really, the only time I have them are when I do a water fast or when I try a carnivore diet or ketogenic diet for you know, a week or so. Um, I just, you know, the water and salt basically starts pouring out of my body. I get relatively dehydrated easily. And <clears throat> with what happened this morning, uh, normally it's the gastrocnemius that gets cramped up, but in this case, there's something called a fibularis longus, which is the very side muscle on the outside of the bottom part of the leg. And I've never experienced that before, and it felt almost like a, I don't want to say a blood clot, but even after, after my calf muscle itself had stopped clutching up, the, there was still pressure as the muscle that drapes the side of my calf. Um, was still being tensed up. So that was something kind of weird. With that said, here's what I ate for lunch this afternoon. Basically a dozen or so hot wings. I estimate this to be about a thousand calories. Uh, one thing I wanted to bring up is if carbs are going to be a problem for me and the calf cramps happen every night, I may possibly eat more eggs and drink more milk over time to get a few extra carbs in, in order to remain on this diet. I've said before in a previous videos that I don't personally care about ketosis or being ex exclusively or explicitly zero carbs, but what I want to do is clean up my diet and eliminate digestive issues, particularly constipation. And while I'm getting enough salt to avoid energy crashing issues, I have literally no energy issues whatsoever. I don't feel sluggish or depressed or anything like that. I just don't seem to be getting enough salt or potassium or magnesium or whatever to avoid cramps. And uh, one cup of whole milk provides roughly 149 calories through eight grams of protein, 12 grams of carbohydrates, and eight grams of uh, total fat. And with that being the case, 
that little bit of carbohydrates should be fine and I'll take one of those uh, leg cramp pen pills like here's what I take uh, <clears throat> one, one of these pills uh, a night before uh, uh, bed when I go on a water fast or on a carnivorous uh, diet um, to minimize the chance that I'll have leg cramps and I don't recall if I took it last night but I'll be taking it tonight just to make sure so those are some of the things that I do about an hour before bed okay here's what I'm gonna eat for dinner this is essentially brisket and some spicy sausage that my son got he happens to work at a barbecue uh, restaurant so he picked this up for me while I was at work I stayed late so normally I do not use any barbecue sauce whatsoever but given the leg cramps that I had overnight I will allow myself a handful of carbs that will be in here that I'm going to drench over the brisket because the brisket is typically fairly dry whereas the spicy sausage is not as as dry so I'm going to allow myself a handful of carbs so I don't get any sort of uh, leg cramps uh, tonight but uh, over time throughout this month my goal is to wean myself entirely from anything other than maybe milk I will buy uh, some whole fat milk and uh, probably drink a cup of that maybe every night before bed on work uh, on nights that I have to go to work the next day to ensure that I get a full night of sleep for when I go to work because I usually work 8-10 hours a day and I have to have a full night sleep to do that and just an FYI this is what it looks like when it's all put on a plate and heated up for about 30 seconds so again I'm not a purist uh, on a carnivore diet but I'm trying to get as close as I can uh, to a carnivore diet um, and allowing myself to slowly transition into it instead of trying to transition overnight. So I'm not going to go into ketosis because I'm going to use a little bit of barbecue sauce that has some carbs in it. But I'm fine with being at maybe a ketogenic level. It's probably going to be like maybe 20 grams of carbs in that barbecue sauce, give or take, maybe less. I don't really know. Have, uh, but uh, I'm fine with that considering I've had uh, basically no carbs for three or four days at this point and I don't mind giving myself a tiny bit if that allows me to retain water a slight bit better and I need to sleep really good tonight because I have a long day ahead of me tomorrow. So that's what I've had for a, a dinner tonight. I'm very satisfied. I'm pretty sure that's over a thousand calories total just in meat and then the uh, amount of calories in that cup of barbecue sauce. I did a quick uh, search and it's probably about 240 calories and about a hundred of those calories uh, came from uh, uh, carbs, which is uh, maybe a bit more than I, I had expected. I, uh, I thought I was going to get away with a little bit under 80, uh, but it looks like I'm getting at least 100 uh, calories in carbs there. So that was a little bit too much. So that's a learning experience. If I do decide to uh, eat something that's relatively dry and the only thing I have nearby is barbecue sauce, I'll very lightly drench uh, you know, pour it over, over it, kind of spread it lightly. Um, and really, I should be thinking more about using things like beef tallow or other things. So that's going to go ahead and do it. Um, this is another day, a uh, day two of this uh, carnivore uh, challenge. And uh, it's going fine with the exception of calf cramps. So I'm going to have to try to devise a solution. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.